Oh, welcome to the old classic car channel and it is the BMW 3 litre CS, the 3 litre CSI and the uh, 3 litre CSL which is the subject of today's classic brochure review. Uh, this particular brochure dates to August 1974 and I acquired this recently from a local chap um, who bought one of these back in the 1970s. Um, I first became aware of the E9 coupes in about 1980. A friend of mine's dad bought a 3 litre S saloon, the E3 four door saloon, and that sort of uh, raised my awareness of BMWs. And when I first saw photographs of these, the racing CSLs, the Batmobiles as they were called, I was just blown away by their shape. And uh, of all the cars of the 1970s, if I was going to get one and if I had the funds, I would be very tempted by one of the 3 litre range. Uh, I just think they are a stunning looking car. Uh, and that's why this particular brochure uh, made its way into my collection. If I just move this mighty model to one side, let's have a quick look at the brochure itself. Like I say, this covers the 3 litre CS, CSI and the CSL models. Uh, they were all six cylinder cars. Uh, the E9 first came along in 1968 um, and continued until 1975 and the bodies were actually by Carmen uh, BMW outsourced the production of the actual bodies themselves uh, Carmen probably better known for the uh, Volkswagen Beetle convertible bodies uh, the first of the E9 coupes was actually the 2800 CS which was a 168 brake horsepower car based on the earlier 2000 C and CS four cylinder coupes uh, designer, main designer was Wilhelm Hofmeister uh, and all of the E9s were six cylinder cars, as I, as I seem to recall. Uh, so let's have a quick look at this brochure and just see what gems are within. I've got a quick introduction here. A coupe not only increases driving pleasure for those who do not need, or who no longer need, the space and four doors of a saloon. Family and professional reasons have persuaded many a sports car driver to change from a streamlined two-seater to a coupe. There is a simple reason why this choice is often a BMW. There is a perfect compromise between extreme sportiness with limited space and comfort and extreme comfort with limited sportiness. And the BMW Coupe represents a harmonious combination of the performance of a sports car and the comfort of a luxury saloon. A blend of sparkling driving characteristics and the spaciousness of a saloon. So let's carry on in here and see what we can find. Here we have a photograph of the, one of the uh, E9s zooming along a runway by the look of it and we open it up <coughs> and we have a wonderful picture of, uh, I just think they're just such a stunning car, such a light airy cabin, very small pillars, pillarless design with the windows wound down. Uh, I just think this is beautiful. I think this is fjord blue, if I remember correctly, this, which was the colour that my friend's dad's 3 litre S saloon was and it's got the, uh, the alley wheels on it as well. And I just think of, of all the cars of the 1970s, this has to be one of the best looking, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, the 70s wasn't a great era for cars, generally, but these, I think, were just a cut above the majority, in my opinion. They still rotted for England. I mean, they, were, they did go rusty very quickly, uh, whether that was because the bodies were built by Carmen and maybe they weren't as uh, proficient at producing rot-free bodywork, I'm not quite sure. But... Uh, of those that survive, I just think they're a magnificent vehicle. Let's just carry on looking over here and see what BMW has to say about the E9. The BMW Coupe is a synthesis of maximum performance, maximum safety, maximum comfort and timeless elegant design. The appearance and behaviour of the BMW Coupe clearly demonstrate the aim of its designers. A dynamic and flexible car, at the same time elegant and comfortable in order to meet the high standards of the discerning driver. The BMW Coupe offers polished, sophisticated driving. Its performance and technical specifications ensure unique exclusivity. So let's carry on over here. We've got a rear view of a CSI, a fuel-injected car. The 3.0-litre CS had twin carburetors and produced around 180 brake horsepower. The 3.0-litre CS and the CSI, uh, the CSI rather, had the Bosch Jet, uh, D Jetronic and it produced about 200 brake horsepower. Uh, so you had the 3 litre CS on carburetors and the CSI on Bosch fuel injection. Over here we have the driver's eye view of the dashboard. All very nice and clearly laid out. Not something that you can level at most cars nowadays. 
We've got the speedometer to the left, taco over here, nice big clock, and a few ancillary gauges here. And you don't need a great deal more. Heating controls down here, and that's your lot. Uh, there wasn't a great deal to talk about in terms of interior fittings, but it was all there. It was clearly laid out, well made, and it did the job. Let's have a look over here. What does it say? Built-in reliability. Making mistakes in traffic is not so much a question of good and bad driving, but simple human fallibility. With the BMW Coupe, you are buying reserves in the chassis, power unit and brake system, which can help to avoid mistakes by making them controllable. And you are also buying a system designed for comfort that will help to eliminate mistakes. For BMW, the aim of comfort is always safety. The amount of attention demanded of the driver of a BMW Coupe is minimal so that he has as much freedom of action as possible so that he can make his decisions with a relaxed and alert mind. Over here, on request, the BMW 3 litre CS can be supplied as an automatic. The driver is able to react even better and even more quickly. The power unit automatically adopts a speed with the optimum torque. Naturally, driving can be just as sporty with the automatic as it is with a floor change car. The automatic is a major contributor to safety in traffic and a co-pilot to relieve the driver without affecting his freedom of decision. So there we go. And over here. Another example of the red car speeding along a beach somewhere. Like I say, such an elegant, such a large glass house, very unobstructed views out of the car. One of my pet hates with modern cars is the rear visibility is appalling on so many of them. And okay, they might have reversing sensors and cameras, but when they stop working, which they will, reversing becomes a real safety issue, I think. So cars like this, I just think, are unparalleled really for ease of driving. And over here we have some details about the view out again, talking about the excellent visibility. BMW Comfort and the interior, the seat design. And there's a, another interior shot of a manual gearbox equipped car. All very nicely laid out, not too, not too blingy, uh, which is not something you can level at a lot of modern cars. Uh, just quality, understated, quality car, I think. Let's carry on through here. And there's the rear seat area, uh, very much a two-seater in the back. As much technical care has been given to the comfort of the passenger in the BMW Coupe as to that of the driver. Plenty of headroom, legroom, central armrest, individually moulded back seats with excellent lateral support and electrically operated windows. All very good stuff. A bit more information about safety and the design of the uh, six-cylinder engine on this side. And the page folds out. And we have a bit of a cutaway drawing showing the drivetrain layout of the E9 Coupe. A major factor in the feel of a BMW Coupe and its unique combination of safety and elegance is its BMW six-cylinder engine. One of the most sophisticated power units in the world. A combination of high performance, flexibility, smooth running and economy. The power unit of the 3.0-litre CS is fitted with carburetors and the 3.0-litre CSI has electronically controlled fuel injection. Uh, 0 to 100 kilometers is 8.2 seconds for the 3 litre CS and 7.7 .7 seconds for the CSI. Here we have the standard rear wheel drive front engine layout of the car. Some more details of the chassis arrangement over here. For BMW. Safety is systematic. In extreme situations, a BMW does not collapse, but yields systematically. So they're talking about special cr crust structures and so on. Uh, BMW employ 12,000 people to put cars together systematically, but they don't start until the range of experts have first destroyed BMW cars systematically. During BMW bodywork tests, the exact time lapse between vehicle deformation and the point at which safety measures become effective is researched, tested, and improved to a state of perfection. The interior of a BMW is not just a passenger compartment, but also a safety cell. More information here. Four spoke safety steering wheel with large padded surface three point belts with winding mechanism. The instrument panel facing is resilient to impact and safety door locks which do not burst open in a collision. Clearly thoughts of safety were beginning to enter the manufacturer's minds, whereas up until the 1960s, few of them, apart from possibly Volvo and Saab, uh, really gave too much thought towards safety. Now, over here, here's the daddy of the range. 
which is this wee beastie here, the 3 litre CSI, or the Batmobile, as it was unofficially called. Uh, these were hugely successful in motorsport. I'm not going to dwell too much on the motorsport side of things, but as this magazine cover from 1973 shows, these were a formidable bit of kit. This is down at La Source at the Spa Racing Circuit. The history of the Bayerische Motor and Werke AG began with a world record height for aeroplane engines, i.e. a sporting event. Following this beginning, the annals of sport are filled with BMW successes, irrefutable testimony to a constantly improving partnership between men and machines. This ideal of constructive unity led to even more efficient, sophisticated and safer series production cars. And in sporting events, more and more world records, titles and trophies. There is hardly a better example of this fruitful interchange on the basis of a unique design common to all BMW cars than the comparison of the victorious car in the 1941 Milli Miglia. The basis was the legendary BMW 328 and the motorsports version of the BMW 3 litre CSL, the winner of the 1973 European Racing Car Championship, a design that equally fascinates drivers and racing drivers and makes them successful. Racing and family cars, cause and effect. The experience of a design team in preparing racing cars for competition, sometimes in unfavourable conditions, affects the attitude and behaviour of the team in a unique manner. The enthusiasm this team can produce when developing solutions and ideas under the pressure of sports competitions is the basis for a unique attitude to the car. And here we have the 3 litre CSL. The CSL was a homologation special for the European Touring Car Championship and in all 1,265 cars were built. Uh, the L was for lightweight, 3 litre CSL, CS lightweight. Uh, the body was produced from lighter, thinner steel. Uh, we had alloy doors and bonnet, less trim inside, so in the bid to reduce weight. Perspex side windows were standard and the boot and uh, initially they were 2,986 cc and then were slightly enlarged to 3,003 cc to enable them to race in a different category. Uh, and then from 1973 onwards it was a 3,153 cc engine beneath this uh, lightweight bonnet and the new aero package was introduced at the same time and that's when they got the nickname the Batmobile. So you've got the rear wing, the wing over the rear window and the big front air dam which made it look a particularly purposeful car indeed. Uh, there was also a 2.5 CS introduced in 1974 which was a bit of a re uh, response if you like to the oil crisis of the early 1970s which was a little bit more economical but this brochure only covers the three litre cars so uh, I don't think we need dwell on the economy version too much. And here we have the details of the three litre CSL package BMW 3 litre CSL with special lightweight bodywork, front and rear spoiler as well as air guides at the front are fitted in series production. The racing kit with the air guide, the rear fin and the rear wing is supplied as a separate kit. So the idea was you'd have to fit those yourself. And here we go with some of the specifics that I've just touched on. Light alley bonnet and outer door sections. Bonnet secured by external retaining pins. Sheet steel boot lid with fittings for mounting tail fins and wing, special verbal glass laminated windscreen, heated rear window, secure it, single plate glass rigid door and back windows, chrome wheel surrounds, the arch is here, uh, no bumpers, no front bumpers or rear bumper overriders, a rear bumper of weight saving black plastic and no rubber padding, rear spoiler of fiberglass reinforced plastic with a soft rubber edging strip and air guides on the front wing of black rubber which you can just about see here and here and these were just a, an immense car they're just absolutely gl glorious I think and on the opposite page we have the 3 litre CSL anatomy of a European champion <coughs> the BMW 3 litre CSL is a lightweight coupe produced in small numbers and suitable for competition use its weight savings and special technical characteristics make it suitable for high level tuning it was produced for the motorsport enthusiast who also wishes to use his car for sporting events. For various reasons, the aerodynamic sections are not permitted for use on normal roads. However, they are easy to fit and remove for every competition, which is why they were supplied as a separate kit. Naturally, the special coupe is perfectly suitable for normal use. It does not need to be transported to events by trailer. 
the ultimate success story. The BMW 3 litre CSL aerodynamic system is not a fashionable accessory, but functional aids to improve the competitive chances of our motorsport coupe. These aerodynamic systems were not developed for normal use, although the notable improvement in active safety would also be of significance under normal conditions. Through the reduction in drag and sensitivity to side winds, through the improvement in air resistance values and consequently the saving of fuel. This aerodynamic system was designed and tested during the course of the most careful research and development to modify the racing coupe during the European Racing Car Championships. And we've just got a few details and diagrams here of the aerodynamic improvements that were brought along by fitting the front dam, the rear boot spoiler, the wing and so on. A bit of talk about uh, down the front end lift, uh, down pressure on the rear wheels etc. aided by the fitment of the rear wing and so on. So that was a quick look at the 3 litre CSL, the lightweight version. If we carry on over here. We have a glorious looking road car version and with some technical details. The CSL power unit is a modification of the 3 litre CSI unit. This modification was necessary to enable the car to compete with Group 2 racing cars between 3 and 5 litres. The capacity of 3153cc is the result of the optimum combination of output and torque. The chassis of the BMW 3 litre CSL, the springs and shock absorbers are carefully coordinated to the high performance of the car and its low weight. The bodywork was lowered by 20 millimetres and this achieved a lower centre of gravity and reduced rolling tendencies. The camber was increased by one degree which correspondingly increased the stability and further improved handling on bends. The BMW 3 litre CSL is fitted in series production with Bilstein gas pressure shock absorbers specially developed for motorsport use. Even under the greatest stress these shock absorbers have an unaltered effect where hydraulic shock absorbers can be affected by foam caused from a mixture of air and oil. For rigorous sports driving progressive and stronger coil springs were chosen to match the shock absorbers. This new spring shock absorber coordination and the reduction in pitching means that the front and rear stabilizers can be dispensed with. To complement this careful coordination, the BMW 3 litre CSL is fitted with a limited slip differential with 25% locking action, 7J by 14H2 light alley sports wheels and Michelin 19570VR14XWX sports tyres. And here we have a small graph showing the, the engine characteristics when compared to the 3 litre CS, uh, which was also fuel injected but not tuned to the same degree. And we have here the interior of the CSL. The interior of the BMW 3 litre CSL matches the sports character of this car. The CSL has special bucket seats with thick upholstery, which is unusually comfortable for this type of seat. The bucket shaped individual rear seats are finished in the same quality material, but correspond to the design of the BMW 3 litre CS and CSI seats. The black leatherette of the door, side and roof trim and the colour of the floor mats are colour matched to the plain sports character of the interior. A further external feature of the BMW 3 litre CSL is a narrow stripe at the level of the waistline colour matched to the basic paintwork in black, dark blue or dark green. With the colours Polaris, silver metallic and Chamonix, white, the BMW 3 litre CSL can be supplied as a special version at no extra charge with a three coloured stripe. Naturally, the equipment of the BMW 3 litre CSL can be supplemented on request. The BMW 3 litre CSL can be fitted with a town kit, steel doors and chassis. Equally, with the aid of various other extras, an individual CSL is possible, with air conditioning and tinted windows, power assisted steering, front and back electronically operated windows, etc. The standard leather covered padded sports steering wheel emphasises a special style of this sports car. I have to say that's a, a lot more attractive than the, the standard steering wheel that was shown earlier in the brochure. Let's keep going through here. So here we have a fairly standard road coupe and the CSL. Experience shows that men measure their environment by the same standards that they themselves have. It is therefore understandable that a driver identifies with the features of his vehicle and that in certain ways cars represent their owners. The BMW Coupe shows that characteristics such as dynamic, flexible and manoeuvrable can also apply to a car. And its drivers prove that vitality and a sporty temperament have nothing to do with age. 
And on the final page we have the technical data for the 3 litre CS, the CSI and the CSL. Uh, I'll just have a quick zoom in on that. Uh, someone put an extra little stamp here just to say all cars delivered in the UK in right hand drive form are fitted with seat belts at extra cost. BMW sheer driving pleasure. And there's the date, 874. So that was the BMW E9 Coupe range circa 1974. I hope there was some interest in that. I know these cars are quite sought after nowadays and are valued accordingly, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've always thought these were just a magnificent two-door coupe. Um, and yep, yeah, I'd very happily own one of these if I could. Um, if you've got any comments about these particular cars, if you own an E9 or if you have done in the past, it'd be great to read your thoughts in the comments section below this video. Um, if this kind of video is of interest to you, please like it and uh, if possible subscribe to the channel. Um, that would be a great, great for your support. Uh, so that was the 3 litre CS and CSI and CSL range of the mid-1970s. Uh, thanks for watching and more videos coming along very soon.